All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome in. So in this one, I wanted to talk a little bit about an individual who I believe is the X factor for this upcoming New York Jets season. That individual is new offensive coordinator Mike LaFleur. The 34-year-old first-time offensive coordinator has a lot of responsibilities for this upcoming season. Okay, there's a lot of pressure here. Number one, he has to install the offense, taking what he did, taking what he learned over in San Francisco, and then installing it with the New York Jets. Number two, doing that with the a young team. I mean, think about how many young players the Jets have on this offense. Makai Becton, Elijah Vera Tucker, Elijah Moore, Corey Davis is only 26 years old, Michael Carter, Ty Johnson, uh, Josh Adams, and then of course, Zach Wilson. Okay, so this offense has a lot of youth. It's not like Michael LaFleur is going to be walking into a situation that has a foundation in place, it, you know, this, this, you know, this incredible culture where he's walking into a Ravens locker room or something like that with 10-year veterans all over the place. No, it's up to LaFleur. It's up to this coach staff to kind of create that foundation with the young guys on the roster okay so with that comes a lot of responsibility point number three and this one kind of branches off of what we were just talking about but Mike LaFleur has to be able to develop Zach Wilson he has to he has to I mean how many times have the Jets had a young promising quarterback with a high upside in the last 10, 11 years. Mark Sanchez, Geno Smith, Christian Hackenberg, Bryce Petty, Sam Darnold. That's five quarterbacks, okay? Five QBs that did not work out for this team. So, as an organization, we have to make sure Zach Wilson's development is there. We have to make sure he feels comfortable. We have to make sure he's taking those necessary steps to become a franchise quarterback that this team has been starved of uh, for, I mean, God knows how long. So on top of installing his own offense, working with a really, really young football team and having to develop a young rookie quarterback in Zach Wilson, Mike LaFleur is also going to be calling plays. Okay, so let's not beat around the bush here. Let's call it like we see it. There's a lot of Mike LaFleur's plate. He has a lot of responsibility for this upcoming season. But I'll say this, out of all of the candidates that the Jets could have had for offensive coordinator, there isn't a single person that I would want more than Mike LaFleur. I fully believe that the Jets landed their guy here. He was my number one, he was like my number one target throughout the process, all right? Because of the relentless work ethic, because of the experience in the passing game in the 49ers offense, because of the extreme attention to detail, and because he's learned and worked with some of the best coaches in the game. Or in a specific case, related to being that Matt LaFleur is Mike LaFleur's older brother. All right, the head coach of the Packers, a guy who has been tremendously successful so far throughout his young coaching career. By the way, quick little side note, Matt LaFleur actually tried to hire Mike LaFleur as offensive coordinator a couple of years ago. Kyle Shanahan blocked it because LaFleur, uh, because Mike LaFleur was so valuable to the Niners coaching staff. All right, so you could go down the list of how many knowledgeable, how many credible coaches that Mike LaFleur has either worked with or been around offensively and defensively. On offense, like we talked about, his brother, Kyle Shanahan, both of those guys have roots going back to Washington with the godfather himself, Mike Shanahan and Sean McVay. Mike McDaniel is another highly, highly regarded coach, uh, kind of a young up and coming coach that Mike LaFleur has worked hand in hand with. Defensively, guys like Robert Sala and Dan Quinn. So even though Mike LaFleur is only 34 years old, I feel fully confident. I, I feel great about having him as the Jets offensive coordinator leading this offense, leading this offense. I, I mean, to kind of put it in perspective, I haven't seen Mike LaFleur coach a game yet, like actually calling plays, making those adjustments, doing any of that stuff, but I have way more confidence in Mike than I ever did with guys like Adam Gase, Dowell Loggins, uh, Morton, Bates, even though Bates grew on me, uh, pr the only like last offensive coordinator hire that I was pretty excited about was Chan Gailey. And that was like his first year back in 2015. That was like the one where I'm like, okay, there could be something here because I liked his spread system. Uh, although I was, um, you know, we had the whole situation with Geno Smith and everything like that. But one of the big benefits that the 2021 Jets offense has, as opposed to, you know, maybe the 2020, the 2019, 2018, 2017, so forth and so on, is that this offense actually has some pretty legitimate players on it. Yeah, yeah, they might be young, but we have pieces. We have core pieces in place. 
just on paper, we have the left tackle position figured out, the left guard position figured out, the right tackle position. Wide receivers were set. Keelan Cole, Corey Davis, Elijah Moore, Jamison Crowder, Denzel Mims. That is fantastic. Running back, Michael Carter, Tevin Coleman. We have a couple of other guys, Ty Johnson, Josh Adams. We're looking pretty good. Zach Wilson, obviously rookie quarterback. I mean, but there's there's just so much, so much excitement there. So we can't really take that position, look at Zach Wilson and say, oh no, this, this position's horrible. It's a weakness. It's going to be a detriment to the team because we just don't know at this point. Really, the only main issues, like the like the blatant holes on this team, right guard, and you can argue tight end. The jury is still out on on uh, on on the center position. Okay, so that's pretty good. I mean, how many offenses out there can say, oh yeah, we have three of the five offensive line spots filled, no, nothing to worry about there. We have enough offensive weapons. We have enough guys in the backfield to have a consistent, solid running game. Not like this elite running game, but a good enough one. And we have a, yo a young rookie quarterback with a high upside. How many offenses can say that? Now, there will be a learning curve. There will be ups. There will be downs from Zach Wilson, from Mike LaFleur. I mean, hey, again, a lot of responsibilities. There will be times where maybe adjustments aren't made. Maybe it's the, maybe it's the wrong play call. Maybe, maybe we have a situation where we just don't know what we're doing, but that's what comes with being a young coach, a young quarterback, and a young football team. So uh, I, at the end of the day, there will be growing pains, but we will work through them. And I feel really, really confident in the guys that we have in place. So anyway, let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section about Mike LaFleur, about the direction of this team, and also who do you think will be the X factor for the 2021 New York Jets? By the way, it's like a hurricane outside. I don't know if you've been able to hear like the thunder cracking and stuff. Uh, hopefully it's not too loud, but anyway, thanks so much for watching and as always go Jets.